So I don't know, I wasn't going to make a video about this necessarily the first time I watched this movie, but as I thought about this movie even more and I see the reactions online, I think I should definitely make a video about this. So let's talk about what the hell happened at the end of It Comes at Night. Now I have already reviewed this movie, if you want to go see the review for that, you can check it out in the card above, or if you want a quick review, here it is. It's not a horror movie in the sense of what the trailer brings to the table, because the trailer is very misleading, and I can see why people get pissed off with it. The trailer gives off this sort of sense of a vibe going on that's a conjuring annabelle type of deal but honestly it's more along the lines with the witch the baba duke or they look like people so if you enjoy those movies you'll definitely enjoy this if you hate those movies i definitely don't go see this but anyways let's get into it so i'm just going to assume you've already watched the movie so spoilers ahead if you haven't i'm gonna go straight to the ending right now and one two three big question is who was sick at the end and was the death of one of the families necessary so let's just get straight and dive deep into it travis was dreaming and was also having flashbacks those were not all dreams and you can definitely tell by the aspect ratio in some of the scenes as well and although the director tried to play it off on some of them you can definitely tell on a lot of them now of course the obvious dream scenes are the ones where travis is having a fantasy about kim Travis sees his dead grandfather and his, his grandfather's just like bleeding from the mouth and when he sees Will with the dark eyes, those are all dreams. Everything else, however, that seemed to be a dream was just Travis sleepwalking or having a flashback of something he already had done. As well that he doesn't really sleep well and that is one of the things about sleepwalking is you are somebody who doesn't get good sleep. And also, we would assume that sleepwalking is something that the family knows about as Paul talks about if Andrew has sleepwalked before or whatnot when the whole situation with the dog and the door happened. Now, I really truly believe that Travis was the one that got sick first after he went out looking for his dog in the middle of the night. He saw whatever was attacking his dog, he killed it, but he, in the middle of bringing his dog back and whatnot, he also had contaminated blood on him. And thus, he contaminated Andrew when he brought him back to his parents' room by holding his hand. I believe that it was Travis that got sick at first and maybe he doesn't recall because he thinks these are nightmares that he was having but he's the one that's actually sleepwalking and these are flashbacks or we're actually seeing it play out. But anyways, the family decides to leave in the morning as we all see and then Paul is like, hell no, you're not going anywhere because I can't trust you. All hell breaks loose and Travis's parents end up killing Andrew and his parents as well. Never totally confirmed that Andrew was sick or not, as Travis had said before, but it is implied maybe something was going on with him because they never wanted to show his face. It was just uh, covered or that could just be something to mislead us, the audience as well. As soon as this scene cuts, we are cut to Travis appearing sick and his mother telling him that everything's gonna be okay and to just close his eyes and then this just ends there that scene and we are in another scene where the parents are just sitting at the table looking at each other travis is nowhere to be seen what does this mean i think we can all assume and probably are right that they had to kill travis because he was sick and if travis was sick before that then they are probably sick as well as they were in the same room with him and they were all uh not being protected by the masks and the gloves so we can all assume that they're all gonna die pretty much but anyways that's what i think is the explanation to the ending because i knew a lot of people went out like what the hell was that and by the way nothing ever does come at night it's just i think what the director meant and the director did say he was just choosing this title because it sounded cool but if i'm gonna add some meaning i'm just gonna add some meaning to it i think what he meant was the sleepwalking is what it comes at night but anyways, let me know what you think about this movie. Did you enjoy it? Did you not? I know these explanation videos might not be the most accurate, but that is exactly what I took from the movie. And I hope that is something that can help you maybe think of something else or another theory you might have about the movie. But anyways, that's going to do it for me. As always, if you haven't already, make sure you like this video. If you enjoy it, share it with your friends if they are still not knowing what's going on with this movie. And as always, that's going to do it for me. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. Stay positive.